Luwag, officially the city of Luwag, Ilocano, Ciudad T. Luwag, is a third-class component city and capital of the province of Ilocos Norte, Philippines. It is the province's political, commercial, and industrial hub and the location of the Ilocos region's busiest commercial airport. The municipalities of San Nicolas, Paoay, Surat, Vintar, and Bacara form its boundaries. The foothills of the Cordillera Central Mountain Range to the east, and the West Philippine Sea to the west are its physical boundaries. Luwag experiences the prevailing monsoon climate of northern Luzon, characterized by a dry season from November to April and a wet season from May to October, occasionally visited by powerful typhoons. History Long before the coming of the Spaniards, there already existed an extensive region consisting of the present provinces of Ilocos Norte, Ilocos Sur, Abra and La Union renowned for its gold mines. Merchants from Japan and China would often visit the area to trade gold with beads, ceramics and silk. The inhabitants of the region, believed to be of Malay origin, called their place Samtoy, from Sao Mi Itoy, which literally meant this is our language. In 1571, when the Spanish conquistadors had Manila more or less under their control, they began looking for new sites to conquer. Legaspi's grandson, Juan de Salcedo, volunteered to lead one of these expeditions. Together with eight armed boats and 45 men, the 22-year-old voyager headed north. On June 13, 1572, Salcedo and his men landed in Vigan and then proceeded towards Luwag, Curamao, and Batic. As they sailed along the coast, they were surprised to see numerous sheltered coves L-O-O-C, where the locals lived in harmony. As a result, they named the region, Yulokos, and its people, Yulokanos. As the Christianization of the region grew, so did the landscape of the area. Vast tracts of land were utilized for churches and bell towers in line with the Spanish mission of Bajo de las Campanas, under the bells, a proclamation by King Philip's 1573 Law of the Indies. In the town plaza, it was not uncommon to see garrisons under the church bells. The colonization process was slowly being carried out. The Spanish colonization of the region, however, was never completely successful. Owing to the abusive practices of many Augustinian friars, a number of Ilocanos revolted against their colonizers. Noteworthy of these were the Dingras Uprising 1589 and Pedro Almasan Revolt in San Nicolas 1660. In 1762, Diego Salang led a series of battles aimed at freeing the Ilocanos from the Spanish yoke. When he died from an assassin's bullet, his widow Gabriela continued the cause. Unfortunately, she too was captured and hanged. In 1807, the sugarcane Basi, brewers of Pitig rose up in arms to protest the government's monopoly of the wine industry. In 1898, the church excommunicated Gregorio Aglipay for refusing to cut off ties with the revolutionary forces of Gen. Emilio Aguinaldo. Unperturbed, he established the Iglesia Filipina Independiente. Aglipay's movement and the national sentiment it espoused helped restore the self-respect of many Filipinos. The great increase in population from 1715 to 1818 from 18,980 to 282,845 made the administration of the province very difficult. Due to the excessive monopolies and forced labor, there were several uprisings, first by the people of Dingras in 1589, one that was led by Pedro Almazan in 1616, the revolt of Diego Salang in 1762-1763, by Ambaristo in 1788, by Pedro Mateo in 1808, also known as Basi Revolt, and uprising of Surat in 1815. For this reason, the division of the Ilocos into two provinces was recommended by the local authorities. On February 2, 1818, a Spanish royal decree was promulgated dividing the province of Ilocos Norte from Ilocos Sur. Luwag City, which was then the biggest center of population, was made the capital of Ilocos Norte, though Luwag was converted into a city in 1965 through a plebiscite, leaving its municipal status, it remained the capital of Ilocos Norte. The first city mayor was Eulalio F. Siazan. Geography 
Luwag is located at the west central part of the province of Ilocos Norte, bordering the West Philippine Sea. It is bounded on the east by the municipality of Surat, in the southeast by the municipality of San Nicolas, in the southwest by the municipality of Paoay, in the northeast the municipality of Vintar, in the northwest by the municipality of Bacara, and in the west by the South China Sea. It is one of the largest cities in the Ilocos region. Barangays Climate Luwag has a tropical savanna climate with warm to hot temperatures year-round. Temperatures dip slightly during the winter months between December to February. Characterized by two well-pronounced seasons, dry and wet and is classified as mild and pleasant climate. Dry season usually starts in November until April and wet during the rest of the year. The city is shielded from northeast monsoon and trade winds by the mountain ranges of Cordillera and Sierra Madre but it is exposed to the southwest monsoon and cyclone storms. The rainy seasons, which has an average monthly rainfall of more than 100 mm in, is from May to September with its peak in June, July and August. Rainfall during the peak month represents 68% of the annual rainfall with an average of 200 mm in the afternoon of May, temperature reach up to 36.2 degrees Celsius .2 degrees Fahrenheit and drops down to 11.4 degrees Celsius .5 degrees Fahrenheit in the early mornings of January. The city recorded an average temperature of 27.25 degrees Celsius .05 degrees Fahrenheit with a relative humidity of 75.5% in 1996. The city experiences an average of four to five tropical cyclones every year. Demographics In the 2015 census, the population of Luwag was 111,125 people, with a density of 960 inhabitants per square kilometer or 2,500 inhabitants per square mile. Luwag City had a total population of 94,466 for the year 2000 as per NSO official report. In 1995, the total inhabitants of the city was 88,336, an increase of 6,130. Based on the 1995 and 2000 intercensal periods, the average annual growth rate of the city was 1.35%. The number of households is 19,751 and the average household size is 5 5 persons per household. Male female ratio is 1 to 1, birth rate is 26.44% while death rate is 4.28%. In the city of Luwag as of year 2000, urban barangay San Lorenzo had the largest number of population at 2,883 followed by rural Barangay Butong at 2,277, and then by Barangay 2 Sta. Joaquina at 2,048. With the least inhabitants was rural Barangay 39 Sta. Rosa, 592, and then Brigi. 52 A San Mateo, 594. Noticeably, the residents of Brigi. 23 San Matias decreased by 740. Its ethnic population is overwhelmingly Ilocano. Unlike the rest of the region, however, the Roman Catholic Church does not predominate. The Aglipayan Church which is the majority's religion, Iglesia ni Cristo, and other Protestant groups have strong followings. Economy Luwag City is one of the richest cities in the country in terms of per capita income and the Human Development Index. Strategically located at the northern tip of the northwestern Luzon Growth Quadrangle, it is within two hours of jet travel to any one of East Asia's economic tigers such as Hong Kong, mainland China, Japan, South Korea and Taiwan by way of the Luwag International Airport if direct routes are opened and established. Having critical infrastructure such as the Luwag International Airport at Gabu and the Kuramao Port makes Luwag the port of entry of goods and services complemented by an extensive road and highway system that connects it to other cities. An extensive banking system is also found in the city with an impressive number of 25 different local, domestic, and foreign banks ready to serve any financial needs. With a 12,747.35 meters total land area, Luwag City provides a large opportunity for economic expansion. 
The historic scenic tourist spots, availability of internationally competitive accommodations and facilities, and the presence of supportive national government agencies, makes Luwag an ecotourism center, as classified by the Department of Tourism. The Northwestern Luzon Growth Quadrangle, fondly called the North Quad, also aims to develop rural areas through an integrated countryside agri-industrial development approach with emphasis focus in attaining sustainable and equitable growth, increase the productivity of agriculture and fisheries, encourage industrial competitiveness in the local and foreign markets like Taiwan, Japan, South Korea and Hong Kong. Plans are also being undertaken for the establishment of an eco-tourism village, which will showcase the rich cultural heritage of the Ilocano people and the local industries. Luwag and the surrounding municipalities also bolster a strong workforce. A proposed industrial park named Luwag Ecozone is set to rise within the city limits to host manufacturing companies. Opposite the industrial site will be housing projects and along the national highway going to the Luwag International Airport are rural barangays to become residential zones. At present, most industries in the city are small-scale, consisting of small-scale food processing factories, rice mills, jewelry making, hollow blocks factories, and metal crafts. The city is also in the forefront of green technology after Danish investors set up the first wind-driven power plant in Southeast Asia, the Bongi Wind Farm. The 25-megawatt plant cost $47.6 million U.S. dollars. An $11 million U.S. dollar expansion is concurrently under construction, which is set to quadruple the capacity. Local government Luwag City elected officials, term of office June 30, 2016 to June 30, 2019. Government seal Building and garden The Ermita Garden and building on top of the Ermita Hill. Bridge Formerly the Gilbert Bridge, recently renamed Marcos Bridge. Airport the Gavu Airport, one of the international airports of the country. Tower The Sinking Tower, one of the oldest and strongest edifices built during the early Spanish regime. Monument The Tobacco Monopoly Monument, the only one of its kind in the entire country. Farmer Plowing Symbol of the agricultural industry of the Ilocos region. Tourism Tourism has become a major economic driver of Luwag City, paving the way for new commercial investments and infrastructure development. A recent surge in Chinese and Taiwanese tourists have been flocking to splurge in the city's profitable casino located inside the only five-star hotel in northern Philippines, Fort Ilacandia Hotel and Resort. Other places of interest include a tour of heritage sites featuring Spanish colonial buildings, Baroque churches, La Paz Sand Dunes, White Sand Beach Resorts of Pagudpud, and Marcos-era mansions. The Luwag Cathedral was built in 1612 by Augustinian friars to replace a wooden chapel. It also serves as the seat or central church of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Luwag. Built with an Italian Renaissance, the church has an unusual two-story facade, supported by two pairs of columns on each side of the arched entrance architecture design and at the top of the facade holds a recessed niche that showcases the image of the city's patron saint, William of Malabal. The dramatic increase in tourist arrivals also prompted the establishment of a Chinese consulate to oversee the security of Chinese citizens living or visiting the city. A new immigration policy set to simplify entry of Chinese tourists into the country by issuing visitor visas in the airport after arrival is expected to entice more guests to come. To supplement the anticipated growth in tourist-related business activity, the government of Ilocos Norte has started construction on a multi-million dollar convention center and hotel to supply the demand and diversify services. Luwag City has been named as one of the top tourist destinations in Region 1 and in the country. Transportation Luwag International Airport services flights to and from Guangzhou and Macau, as well as, domestic flights by Philippine Airlines. Foreign airlines offer direct charter flights to Luwag as part of travel packages with optional excursions to tourist sites outside of the city. 
Tourists can find travel agencies all over including ticket offices of several airlines in the airport terminal. Several large bus companies serve Luwag City making connections to major and minor Philippines destinations. These transportation services are provided by GV Florida Transport, Maria de Leon Bus Lines, RCJ Lines, Partas, Farinas Transit Company. Luwag is 487 kilometers 303 miles from Manila. Education As the provincial capital, Luwag is the center of social and economic activity with almost all major commercial and institutional establishments gravitating towards it. The importance of education in socializing its population is shared by both the local government and the private sector, which has invested heavily in the development of the academic infrastructure. The city is home to public and private schools offering elementary, secondary, and tertiary education programs. Current Philippine law requires free compulsory education to the general population from elementary to high school, as well as, subsidized tertiary education in state-ran institutions. Alternative private schools offering parallel programs to government schools are also found with additional programs to cater to students with various needs. These schools are an important component of the educational system and reflect the city's diversity as they include Chinese schools, Catholic schools, single-gender boarding schools, and military schools. Most of the lower-level schools are government-owned and are divided into three districts, comprising a total of 33 primary and elementary schools. Seven private elementary schools are also present, however, most are sectarian and run by religious organizations. In addition, there are eight private and three public high schools, although the latter has significantly higher number of attendees. The Department of Education, Division of Luwag City is currently supervised by Ms. Araceli C. Pastor. In order to provide continuing education to sustain the economic momentum of the region, the government has established tertiary public learning institutions in the city, the College of Teacher Education CTE, and the College of Industrial Technology CIT, of the Mariano Marcos State University. In addition, private colleges and universities are also found in the city, each with their own specialization. Private higher education institutions in the city include Northwestern University, Northern Christian College, and the Divine Word College of Luwag. Also found in Luwag are four private vocational schools, STI Luwag, the Overseas Technical Institute, Electronics and Car Maintenance, the Lazo Fashion School, Cosmetology, and the Bel Arte School of Fine Arts. Media TV stations TV5 Luwag Channel 2 GMA Luwag Channel 5 AVCBN Luwag Channel 7 AVCBN Sports and Action Luwag Channel 23 GMA News TV Luwag Channel 27 AM stations DZVR 711 kHz DZJC 747 kHz Pacific Broadcasting Systems DWAR 819 kHz Sunshine Media Network International DZEA 909 kHz Catholic Media Network DWFB 954 kHz Philippine Broadcasting Service DZMT 990 kilohertz, Philippine Broadcasting Corporation. DWRC 1269 kilohertz, Radio GMA. FM stations. DWIL 90.7 Love Radio, Philippine Broadcasting Corporation. DWNA 93.1 Hot FM, Manila Broadcasting Company. DWEL More 95.5 for Life, AVCBN Corporation. DWSN 97.9 Moms Radio, Southern Broadcasting Network. DWHP 99.5 IFM, Radio Mindanao Network. Sister City. V 
Vegan, a locos sir. References Bibliography External links Official site Luwag City Sinking Bell Tower Travel Guide, Luwag Ilocos Times Article about some of the sites in Luwag Ilocos Sentinel Photos and information on Luwag City Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System